Today, I'm gonna to show you guys this insane color grading hack in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's go. So essentially what we're doing is, let's say there's a movie or there's a creator that dropped a video and I really, really like the color grade and I wanna to try to recreate it. There's a way to actually take their video and take their color grade and throw it onto your footage at a click of a button. It's that simple. You literally press the button and it just, boop. I didn't even know this existed until a buddy showed me this recently and it blew me away. I'm surprised I didn't know about this before, but I'm happy I know about it now, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. If you guys wanna learn about filmmaking or editing, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on that bell notification. All right, guys, let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro and get this tutorial started. Let's go! Whoa. Before we actually get started, I forgot to mention that you can do this with pictures as well. So I'm actually using three pictures today. I'm using one off of my Instagram, I'm using one off of Peter McKinnon's Instagram, and I'm using one off of J.R. Ali's Instagram. I love the way those guys color grade, so that's what we're gonna be using today. If you are using a video clip, what you're gonna need to do is grab a still from that video or a screenshot where the color grade is where you like it, and follow the same exact steps that we're gonna be doing right now. All right guys, so now that we're in Adobe Premiere Pro, this is the clip that we're going to be using today. As you can tell, the clip is really flat. Um, the colors are really dull, as you can tell in the pink smoke right here and in the trees. I decided to use J.R. Ali's picture for this clip because it just looked better in the end. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to stop this, bring it back to the front. You're going to want to make sure you're in the color editor. Uh, this is actually where I usually do all my editing just because once we zoom back out here, you could see that you got your effects controls on the left and then all your colors on the right, your Lumetri panel. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drag our picture onto the timeline that we're gonna use as a reference. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna grab the picture and drag it over to the timeline. And then now you can see that the picture actually doesn't cover the full frame. We want it to fit the whole entire frame that we're gonna be using. So we're gonna come over to the left-hand side under motion and we're gonna go under scale and just bring that up until the image fits the whole entire frame. I'm gonna bring it down, or I'm gonna bring it up a little. Now that we have it where we want it, you're gonna come down right underneath the video and you should see this comparison view button. If you don't see this button, all you're gonna do is click on this little plus icon and uh, find it in your little button editor and you're just gonna drag it right onto your editor window. I already have it, so I don't need to do that. So I'm gonna click on the comparison view button and it's gonna pop up two screens right here. Uh, see, you can see our video on the left and then our picture on the right. We're gonna to wanna to switch those. So to do that, you're just gonna drag this playhead over your video. And then once you have it over your video, you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing to the little tiny video right here. So you're gonna see a little playhead right underneath it. And you're just gonna drag that over until you see the image that you want to reference. So we're just gonna drag it over and there is the image. And now you can see that the picture is on the left and the video is on the right. Um, now it's really actually easy. So we're just gonna come over to the right hand side under the metric colors and you're gonna find color wheels and match. Click on color wheels and match and you're gonna see a little button right here. It says apply match. All you're gonna do is click on that button. Now once you click on that button, it may take a second and then boom, the color grade has been added to your video. So I'm gonna actually click on the comparison view to actually get out of this uh, editing window here, just like that. And now it's totally up to you, uh, to your style of editing, to add uh, some little tweaks to this color grade. So for me, I'm gonna put up the exposure just a little bit, uh, maybe bump up the contrast. I love my videos having a, a lot of contrast. Bring the shadows down, and then I'm actually gonna come uh, under creative and I'm gonna bring up the vibrance a little bit cause I kinda want it to be a little bit more uh, vibrant. And literally it's that easy guys. You can do this with any of your clips. If 
If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to go down there and smash that thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell notification. I just want to give a shout out to all the subscribers, and I will see you guys next week. I'm out.